The following video is by a brilliant guy named Sinatra Says. If you like the video, be sure to subscribe to him. Link in the description box. I think you'll like this. Uh, without really trying, Republican senator and failed presidential candidate Ted Cruz said something kind of profound the other day. Okay, but what Ted Cruz said and what you took away from it are two extremely different things. And uh, I, I mean, the truth is, when trying, Ted Cruz never says anything that's profound. Then you're just simply not listening or you're putting too much of your own bias when you listen to what he says. Ted Cruz is an incredibly brilliant man. Now, by no means was he my pick in the race, but if you're just discrediting everything he says because he's Ted Cruz, that makes you a bigger idiot than anybody I can think of right now. But I guess what he, I mean is he accidentally stumbled across a profound way to sum up the American gun problem in one sentence. I'm going to play a little more than just the one sentence for you for context, but here's what Ted Cruz had to say. Now pay attention to this because what the words that came out of Ted Cruz's mouth and the words that David Pakman here heard are just two different things altogether. You know, it is an unfortunate thing that the immediate place the media goes after any tragedy, after any murder, is politicizing it. We don't need politics right now. You know, I would note in New York we saw a terror attack just this week with a truck. Evil is evil is evil, and we'll use the weaponry that is available now, I'm not exactly sure why you're shaking your head like you think you know what he said, because what you're about to say clearly indicates you have no fucking clue. Evil is evil is evil, and we'll use the weaponry that is available. Yes, that means whatever weaponry is available. Over in the UK, they use knives and machetes and trucks. Like, I don't understand why you think that this is a gun control argument. Ted Cruz is exactly right. Terrorists will use whatever is available to them to commit acts of terror, to kill as many people as possible. Yes, that is what he said, but not what you took away from it. But if less deadly things are available, they will use those and end up killing fewer people. You are so close to making a salient point here, but you just miss it. If it weren't for things like the German Christmas market attack that left 12 dead, and 55 injured. Nice, France with 86 dead and almost 500 injured, which is more killed but less injured than the Las Vegas shooter who had, by all purposes, an automatic rifle. The Manchester bombing, which left 23 dead and over 500 people injured. The London Bridge attack, which left 8 dead and about 50 injured. I mean, I can go on and on and on disproving your point here, Pacman, but the point Ted Cruz was making is, it doesn't matter. It does not matter the tool used. The terrorists will commit terrorism regardless. Maybe if you focus on the ideology that's prompting the killings instead of the tool used in the killings, you might make some headway to stop the killings. If fully automatic weapons are readily available, evil will use them and kill tons of people. Maybe... If we lived in 1985, Pacman might have a point here, but automatic weapons have been banned for over 30 years. So I don't get what point you're trying to make. If the fully automatic weapons are tougher to obtain, then they might use semi-automatic weapons and end up killing fewer people. I don't know what this if is. Any legal, fully automatic weapon has to be obtained through a special license and costs almost five figures. So yes, they are very hard to obtain unless you're buying them illegally, in which case you shouldn't have them anyway. And no amount of gun control regulation would stop the illegal sales of guns that are already being sold illegally. I know this is really hard for you to understand, but I promise you that's the way it works. If those become harder to find, they'll use handguns and kill even fewer people. Again, you were almost there. You were almost there, but you just couldn't make that final push to get the point across, could you? Handguns are the number one gun used in gun crime in America. They are also the easiest to obtain. They cause the most amount of death. Almost exclusively with a number something akin to 95 to 5 is illegal guns. So, nice try, David, but you're just off. You're not correct. Well, Ted Cruz is exactly right. He's making an argument for us to reduce the availability of really deadly weapons. No, 
No, he's not. He's making a statement saying that these people will commit terrorist attacks no matter what weapons are available to them. In no way, shape, or form is it exclusively these people are using guns because they fucking don't. So that so-called evil people have a more difficult time accessing them. Look, David, I don't know your political leanings. I've never watched your show. I only like good content. Sorry. But I don't know what you mean by so-called evil people. I'm pretty sure the terrorists driving trucks into crowds and the people opening fire on crowds with guns are evil people. And they will commit these evil acts one way or another, whether it's with a gun, a truck, a bomb, a knife, or whatever they have available to them. That's what gun safety advocates are saying. Yeah, and that's where they're wrong. There might be evil people in the world, but guess what doesn't help the fucking situation? Taking guns away from people who are not evil. Look at the most recent mass shooting in the church. Guess what that was stopped by? A good guy with a gun. The bad guy shouldn't have had a gun. The good guy did have a gun and he saved countless lives. If you want to go tell the families of those people whose lives were saved by a good guy with a gun that that good guy shouldn't have had a gun, go do it. But guess what? I will take the good guy with a gun every day of the week over waiting seven minutes for the police to show up. Every day. Good guy with a gun. No doubt. Especially now when you see the pushes of people calling for gun control you'll see conservative media covering the good guy with a gun stories a lot more often so keep your eye out those stories happen a lot more than the liberal media like this or the young turks or MSNBC. those those stories happen a lot more than they would like you to believe because the good guy with the gun actually helps there are people in the world who will try to hurt others and they will use whatever is available to do it whoa is there an echo in here i'm like 90 percent sure you just said that Hold on, let's find out. Echo! Or is David Pakman just repeating himself to try to make himself sound smarter? So why wouldn't we work to make killing machines less readily available? Why wouldn't we work towards finding out why the ideology causes killing? Why wouldn't we work towards better mental health care for people? Why blame the gun? What's wrong with the individual? Again, I'll repeat the point again. I'll cause an echo. If you don't have a gun, you'll use a truck. You don't have a truck, you'll use a knife. You don't have a knife, you'll use a bomb. There are things, these people will do this no matter what. There was a bombing in Egypt not two weeks ago that killed over 200 people dead because of one evil guy who didn't have a gun. We should focus more on why and less on how. If only a baseball bat were available, evil would use it. So are we going to call for the banning of baseball bats because that's all that's available to them? So they're just walking around braining people in the fucking street for 10 minutes till a cop shows up because no one's going to fight a dude with a bat? And end up killing way fewer people. Actually, this is just another argument that's bass backwards. It They'll kill fewer people, but they will fucking hurt a lot more because of the time it takes for the cops to arrive. Don't disarm the good guys just because you think. It absolutely won't but because you think it'll stop the bad guys. If you chart the rate of gun violence to the rate of gun ownership around the world, you'll see that the United States has way more guns per person than most countries and way more gun deaths per person than most countries. The U.S. far and away owns the most guns. So tell me, why don't we have the most gun deaths, David? We're not even in the top 10. Why are you arguing from such a disingenuous place here, David? We cannot and will not ever have any sort of meaningful gun control debate if you keep trying to lie and argue from a dishonest place. Why should anybody take your argument seriously if you don't take it seriously? This information is not hard to find. This was a simple Google search away. So what's your excuse for not knowing this stuff? And part of it is availability. Again, you're just getting this stuff wrong for no apparent reason other than you can't be fucked to look it up yourself. As you can see here by this graph, Honduras, Venezuela, El Salvador all have guns at 6.2 per 100, 10.7 per 100, 5.8 per 100. That's a very low availability per person per 100 people in the country. While America has... 112 firearms per 100 people. That is a very high availability of firearms. So tell me why we have the highest availability, the highest ownership, and we're not even in the top 10 of highest deaths. Ted Cruz sort of, I guess, maybe accidentally wandered aimlessly 
into a profound and accurate statement about guns. No, not even a little bit. You just heard what you wanted to hear from somebody who said nothing compared to what you think he said. And you were like, oh, yeah, this fits my narrative. I'll just fucking run with it. One that gun safety advocates completely agree with him on. But yet, Ted Cruz is one of the more guns in more places with fewer restrictions and regulations types of guys. Because you just simply have no clue what the guy said. You just heard what you wanted to hear and didn't listen to the words that actually came out of his face. Ted Cruz and people like him end up with ideas like, if you ban guns, people will make fertilizer bombs and kill just as many people. Really? Yes, really. I think the stuff I showed you before about the Nice truck, the Manchester bombing, the talking about the Egyptian bombing, proves that these people can do fucking damage without a gun. The fucking French truck of peace attack killed more people without a gun than the Las Vegas shooter did. By a lot. So yes, when Ted Cruz says these people will find other ways of committing these crimes, he is correct. We've seen it. We see it now. But let's hear whatever dog shit argument you have against that. Every person who could use a fully automatic weapon to kill dozens of people it is going to, in the absence of the availability of the fully automatic weapons, learn how to make a fertilizer bomb, get the ingredients, make it, and set it off? No. Well, first off, you're just blatantly wrong because fully automatic weapons are just illegal. So I don't know why you can't be fucked to look up this simple information. Second off, yes, these people will use trucks, guns, knives, whatever is available to them to cause the damage. It's there. We see it happening all the fucking time. How are you so ignorant to this? You think these people are pulling off these attacks because of guns? Are you out of your mind? I'm just going to end the video there. David Pakman just goes on for like two minutes complaining about guns and cars because he's an idiot. And he adds nothing of value to the conversation. I don't understand why these gun control advocates have no fucking clue what they're talking about. Yet they have the biggest mouths when it comes to this stuff. Why don't you do a simple Google search and then try to talk to me? Then try to tell us what to do with our fucking guns. Is that too much work for you? I'm sorry, maybe you should shut the fuck up then. You know, you're just making an ass of yourself. Why start a debate that you have no clue what you're talking about? Again, I'll say it one more time. All of these things that I debunked in this video were proved by just a simple fucking Google search. If David Pakman, if the Young Turks, if whatever liberal is telling you that guns are bad can't be fucked to do a simple Google search to prove their point, they are adding nothing of value to the conversation. If you can't take your own argument serious enough to do some research, I'm not going to take your argument serious either. If you like this video and you want to hear more similar to it, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the section down below. I'm always interested in what you guys have to say. If you want to reach out to talk to me, please go to my Minds, Gab, and Twitter. All in the description, all are at Sinatra Says. If you're feeling generous, my PayPal and Patreon are both linked in the description. Until next time, my friends.